Okay, our second dish today is uh, potato bread, we call it potato riesca, uh, tacos, fancy, with a little uh, thin mix in here today. So, um, <clears throat> what are we gonna do? First, I'm gonna show you today uh, how to make the bread in, in this potato bread. Uh, I have here leftover uh, mashed potatoes, which I uh, don't know what I'm gonna do with it. So I just go, this is basically one pint, uh, maybe a little short of the one pint in a bowl. This is the half cup of the regular white flour. And I will need a little bit of And later use, and one egg. This is a medium size egg, so uh, you can use the large eggs too. Uh, there you go one egg and you already usually have the salt and the butter in uh, in your mashed potatoes but we're gonna put a little pinch of the salt just to make sure that uh, it's well seasoned so all you need to do is uh, this one is in the mixing bowl you can just actually put it in your uh, uh, mixer and just mix everything together so this will all combine together so uh, I try to do it in a quickly with uh, our uh, like a little spatula, so they go. Don't need to even need the machine in this one, I suppose. And they go. This is your potato bread dough basically here. So, and I already have the measure in, uh, this is roughly uh, two ounce for the dough. And I measure it uh, already because uh, this is gonna make the size of the taco or the bread what I wanna do. So all you need to do, just uh, get in a cookie seed with a little baking uh, parchment paper. Make sure you have the, all your dough. And then I have a little bit leftover flour here. And with your hands, just put the flour in your top of your dough and you just keep tapping your bread when it's pretty thin so I'm sure lots of people already done this in the pin especially if you come from Finland so lots of people does the potato bread in the Finland so there you go super thin and next thing what we need to do is a hot oven. We need to do 400 degrees oven to get this baked. Uh, so let's put it in the oven. And like all nice uh, cooking shows, we already have one. <laughs> so this has been at roughly 10 minutes. So as soon as it start to get the color, so you have your little potato bread ready. So. That's how it looks when it comes out in our So you can cover, when you take it out, make sure you sort of lift it up so it doesn't stick in your parchment paper and then cover it with a uh, towel so it stays nice and soft. Uh, and then I put this ready here because I have this nice taco stand. So I put one of these uh, bread already ready to wait our uh, next item to go there. If you don't want to do your own bread, you can use the soft tacos or you can use the hard tacos, so whichever. So make it easier. Because the next item in this dish, obviously, will be the sausages. So there's no sauna without the sausages. So we have this uh, enormous uh, uh, sausages uh, from our local uh, supplier. So, but whichever you can find. So just Take whichever you find. So, you, if you have a grill, feel free to, free to the grill uh, sausage. If you don't have a grill, you can always uh, just put it in the frying pan and uh, get it in a nice and brown in the in the both sides, and make sure it's all the, all the way cooked. So let's keep it here and to let it brown a little bit and. 
do have that grill, so you can also grill it. So while this is cooking here, we're gonna peel up a couple of these uh, our tacos. If you don't like the pan, pan fry sausage, if you like that it boiled, feel free that it's just boiled the your sausage is. So I actually like like in the when Finland you go to the Nakki kiosk, so you get that it's always boiled, the, almost, almost all the boiled uh, the sausage is. So this is almost like a hampuri line and with two uh, sausages, which I like to eat when I go to the thin one. So anyway, um, we're gonna use this one here. We're gonna put in uh, two hot dogs. You don't need to put two if you don't want. You can put the one, totally fine. And then we're gonna get some of our condiments that we have here. We have a ketchup, we have a mustard, and we have a little horseradish sauce. So, it's, it's ever, it could be pickled cucumber, so it could be uh, radish, so it could be uh, whichever. So, whichever you like in your, basically in your hot dog or liha pirak and then we're going to do a little bit of the, this horseradish mayo. Just a little bit, not too much, and a little bit mustard. Try not to show Ikea here, so <laughs> but it's uh, actually a very nice mustard from the from the Ikea. So this one only get the mustard here, and then the especially the kids like the, the ketchup. Uh, I don't usually use the ketchup, but uh, for mine, but uh, for this one we smoke a little bit. These two guys here also ready to go if needed. You can also bake this, this sausage cheese in the oven, so it doesn't matter. Boiled, grilled, baked, or pan fried. So, three ways to go, four ways to go. And we make a little bit of coleslaw. This is a very fast coleslaw. Uh, I grew up with this coleslaw. My family restaurant has this every day. So this is basically a shredded cabbage, a little bit carrots, and a little bit of red bell peppers. All you need is uh, vinegar, a little bit of oil, salt, and pepper. And if you do that in the tape be beforehand, so it's gonna be nice and just soft, uh, but still have a little bit crunchiness. So here, we're gonna put uh, a little bit of coleslaw, top of our Sausage tacos. There we go. And if you want, you can put some uh, chopped parsley, put a little bit of color. I'm just going to use a little bit of scallion to get a little onion there because uh, some people like the onion with the, with the hot dog. So, very much sauna food. There we go. Little decoration. Looks nice. And I don't know, this is the, not the typical sausage, grilled sausage after the sauna, but it's a very close. And that I tell you, this burrito bread and the sausage combo is fabulous. And you can also, if you have that porcini mayo leftover, so you can also put that top of the everything and that's to add to your little bit of mushroom taste here. And, uh, and very nice, super easy. 10 minutes maybe, maybe, maybe if you do coleslaw it might be 15 minutes, but then that's it. And uh, if you don't really want to do the bread, but I said this is super nice with this bread, feel free to use the soft tacos or hard tacos, so, and super nice with after the sauna, a little cold beer and the sausages. There you go, enjoy.